Hello Gemini Cancer Cusp, welcome to my channel. Hi, how are you all doing? Happy New Year Gemini Cancer Cusp. Alright, this is you all's first video coming from yours truly, moi, alright, for the year. So Happy New Year Gemini Cancer Cusp. Okay, so we're going to take a look, of course, you all, we're going to take a look into you Take a look into the energy that is surrounding you when it comes to love, all right? Uh, Gemini Cancer Cuss, please know that these will be general messages. They may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals, all right? If you find messages here that resonate with you, please feel free to take them with you. If you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all, then please do leave them here on the table, you all, with my lovely Tiarka Love Handmade Soy Wax Candles, you all, with very nice fragrances. Um, Y'all should check me out, okay? The candles smell really nice at a very reasonable price as well, all right? But if these messages does not resonate with you, then please do leave them here on the table to allow someone to pick them up that they will resonate with, all right? Um, okay. Oh, and Gemini Cancer Cusp, I want to just ask you all if you would please be patient with me. I know the audio is uh, uh, on the verge of being terrible, okay? Um, but I need to get some more equipment. So I am manifesting more equipment, but I do need to give you all some videos. Um, I don't want you all to wait on your messages before I am uh, willing to get some more equipment, okay? Uh, where there's a will, there is a way. So hopefully that uh, you all hear me well enough to understand what I am saying and to be able to get your messages. All right. That is enough talking about me. Okay. All right, Gemini Cancer Cups. Let's get some messages here for you. Give me some messages here. All right. So I want to rush in and sweep you off your feet and show you how I feel. Sometimes that urge is overwhelming. Can you feel it? Would you welcome me home? All right. And let's see. Let's get you all one more message. Okay. I'm willing to give you more stability, but I need to know I am free. I have commitment issues. Is it safe to be vulnerable with you? All right. So let's see what's going on, Gemini Cancer. Cuss. Let's see, who are you all in your love connections? Who is this Gemini Cancer Cusp when it comes to love? All right, what are your characteristics? Okay, the cusp of magic. You got the creator here. So Gemini Cancer Cusp, you all are very uh, creative here. You, you are someone who can create magic here, okay? Someone who is very smart. Uh, to be very uh, have a great sense of humor as well as you all know my fourth child he is a Gemini Cancer cusp born June 23rd you all um, yeah and that's half air half water I'm Aquarius Pisces half air half water so me and Gemini Cancer cusp we get along very well all right well me and my son do and okay all right, so let's get some more about uh, characteristics. Okay, you got earth here. I mean, fire. Sorry, y'all. So, Gemini Cancer Cups, you all are very passionate in your love connections. Okay? You could have Aries, uh, Leo, or Sagittarius energy in your chart. All right? You got the Shadow King here. So, there could be some things that is going on uh, within you here that that you are maybe uh, shameful of or that you just need to go within to shed some light on the parts within side of you that maybe possibly need some healing okay um yeah all right now let's look at your views here how are you viewing love how are you feeling, love, at this time? Gemini Cancer Cusp. 
All right, so you got passion here. You all are very passionate. Uh, when it comes to your romantic connections, when it comes to you connecting with someone um, romantically here, you are very passionate here, okay? Um, let's see. You got leave space here so you can grow and nourish your soul. So at times you could be needing your own space here, needing some space to go within. Um, you could really enjoy your personal space at times, Gemini Cancer Cusp, okay? All right, or your views on love. You could be feeling like that the person that you wanting to connect with or when you try to connect with someone on a romantic level, then... Um, Maybe they need, uh, you keep connecting with people that kind of pretty much need space here. All right. So they can grow and nourish their soul. Okay. All right. You got to stand by me. So your views towards love, you're wanting someone that is going to stick with you and stand by you um, throughout, you know, the things that you're going through. Okay. Uh, let's look at your feelings. How are you feeling? When it comes to love, what are your feelings towards love? All right. So you got legal issues here. Um, all right. With these legal issues, but I see the scales look like balance here. Your feelings towards love. You want some justice here. Okay. You can feel like that someone in the past may possibly have done you wrong. And maybe you have not yet been able to get over that here with that shadow king there. And um, you want justice here. Okay. Also, you have gloopy. All right, so your feelings towards love. Um, you could have a lot of people that is wanting to connect with you. Um, you could be surrounded by a lot of people here. All right, because I know Gemini Cancer Cusp, you're not in this uh, gloopy type energy. Your feelings towards love. Okay. All right. Well, maybe you have a lot of suitors. Okay. But right here, you got fed up. So you're feeling like you're fed up. There are some things when it comes to love that is just pissing you off. You know, you are just getting frustrated here. And yeah, okay. All right, let's see what is holding you back, Gemini Cancer Cusp. What is, you, what is holding you back from moving forward when it comes to uh, love, okay? Gemini Cancer Cuss, what is holding him back when it comes to love? All right, forgiveness, okay? So whatever happened to you in the past, you have to forgive your person on, in order to move forward, okay? This could have happened in childhood, all right? Uh, there is... Um, forgiveness that you need to have for yourself and anyone that was involved okay let's see also you got um, you have to open yourself up emotionally here you're blocking yourself Gemini Cancer Cusp when it comes to you connecting with your person on a deeper emotional level here okay now let's look at your desires what are you desiring when it comes to love all right for new opportunities here desiring for new beginnings desiring for um, changes here um, desiring for new opportunities Okay, you got the king of wands here. So you are desiring for someone who is um, very charming. Someone who is a leader. Okay. Could be a fire sign that you are desiring. All right. Um, someone who is pretty much going to set some type of example. All right. In a good way. Okay. Also, you got the two of pentacles, Capricorn energy. You are desiring for... To be able to have more balance so you could be able to make a choice here. Uh, maybe you're desiring for this king of wands to make a choice. Become more balanced. Be open to move towards new beginnings here. Okay. Now let's see Gemini Cancer Cusp. 
How can you heal from your past connection? How can you heal from your from your past love connection? Okay. Oh wow, y'all, we not even finna do all that. <laughs> Give me one, please. That's so many. I okay. Dare to be happy, all right? So, how can you heal from your past connections? Dare to be happy. Let's see what this says. All right. So, you're beginning to feel the vibration of joy. This is a sign that your spirit is finally breaking free from the prison of the ego and you're reconnecting with your true divine nature. Your next challenge is to be openly happy even when those around you don't readily appreciate or even encourage your joy. The ego is intimidated by this emotion because it has no power in that frequency. It prefers to keep people in pain. When you break free of its grip, it will try to lure you back by suggesting that your joy is false or temporary, or worse, that you'll lose it. So there is no reason to bother in the first place. Your ego isn't your only potential saboteur. Those around you may try to steal away your joy as well, or distance themselves from you because of it. Out of jealousy or suspicion, perhaps, or because your contentment makes them aware of their own lack of it. As they say, misery loves company, but happiness stands alone. Simply know that if others try to rain on your parade, it's not personal. They're watching you closely to see what joy is all about and are especially curi curious to see if it crumbles when tested. Stand tall in the joy of your spirit and let the world know that there is another option besides pain. Be especially cautious not to feel as though you must commiserate with others in order to connect. Share your joy by willing to stand alone in it too. One by one, others will become inspired by your higher vibration and begin to resonate with it, finding their happiness as well. In the meantime, enjoy your spirit and know that it keeps company with heaven. Okay? All right, Gemini Cancer Cusp. These are your messages. I hope that they will be helpful. I salute the divinity in you all. I am sending you all so much love, so much light, so much positivity. I thank you so much for joining me. I will see you all next time. Okay? Bye.